in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed someone sent me a text and said um apostle i want you to confirm this it's like the love of men is waxing cold in the body of christ i said that's an error go and think again the church is rising powerfully you are the only one going down find out what you are not doing people are praying more than ever before oh come on revelation is coming upon the body more than before don't come up with your misguided thing that the church is going down who is the church don't say the church say i as a member of the church is hot like you can say i have headache and then the body can come together and help you and say it is true you have headache let's bring you out don't use your headache to say the body is sick because let me tell you the church is rising what i'm teaching you will change your life look at our our brother this gentleman come sir you're the person who gave that testimony come this guy came from benway state all the way about to destroy come, come 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 my friend how are you this guy about to destroy himself to commit suicide are you seeing that now if this guy committed suicide and died what do you think will happen we are going to sing thus will we pass from the earth and it's totally that's we are carrying his grave now remember by what here lies what's your name james. our brother james he died it's a warning to all of us no 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 i'm not mocking pay attention to what i'm saying this guy whereas one message one message held the possibility of reviving his life please listen i'm saying this with every sense of passion because we still need to press we have stopped them there are some of us who carry these mantles but they are not developed enough to start serving the body so your lack of prayer is making the body die in a certain way this message is a is a call to rise and develop your contribution to making the body rise imagine if i was a drunkard or imagine that i started drinking january 1st because i'm weary the message that would need to help this guy do you know standing here may be a pastor or a prophet to nations so as i as i refuse to manifest and he dies the nation tied to him dies the purposes of god for that nation dies look at the ripple effect are we together he has come now and you can see that this guy is going to catch fire tonight no 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 he will it's not we have it this is what i'm saying you must know what you have as given by god it's not for pride it's to distribute to the body he says such as i have this is you can pray for it somewhere else because it's not part of the spiritual composition of that ministry but here we have it it was given it's an office the same way there are some things that are not in koinonia if we need it here we must open our hearts to other members of the body with all humility there are some things that don't happen as a gift here in koinonia they happen through prayer we pray and tap but there are ministries it happens like breathing some of you receive a lot of testimonies if you see someone rolling under the anointing in koinonia you will not be surprised because it's an office there are churches if one person is rolling the pastor says i've been telling you that god has increased me i've been saying this thing now it's not to mock it's not it's not mockery i'm saying there are spiritual possibilities
how you know what is available in a ministry is what the people in that ministry trivialize because they've seen it so much it's in abundance you don't pray for it you don't fast for it you enter this place and you are shaking like a leaf because there is a covenant that makes this possible this is a gentleman now if i'm a stupid man of god i'm going to do two things and this is a warning to many pastors when this guy comes now because he has come to koinonia let me tell you what most foolish men of god do they try to say you have gone to every other pastor are, are you are you, you seeing where we destroy the body now you have gone to every other man but when you came to koinonia everybody rises and me who is the champion you are talking about i now rise those who do that god is soon coming for them because that attitude is part of why the body does not grow so when this brother comes now i do not isolate my impact to his life as though i'm different from the body i just tell him no 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 whatever you receive here i hide my individualism so that the body of christ will be glorified it does not matter that it is joshua selman the most important thing is i have represented christ properly your kingdom reigns yes he reigns through this place I believe Lord the kingdom That's what is most important okay. Yes I brother right now we are all looking at him what a foolish man of God would do is to make him hate every other man of God who has talked to him are you seeing now I can make this guy hate every other man of God in Benway State or whoever so the next time he's watching TV and he sees maybe a living faith or any ministry there what he's going to say is all of you are rubbish you are wasting our time only koinonia now it looks like he's glorifying me but he's destroying the image of christ i must leave this guy with an impression that makes him love the body of christ because although he found an anointed man although he found an anointed ministry we hide our individualism that christ be lifted so as he's going to benway i will tell him okay take messages but open your heart god is doing great things in benway he's doing great things in lagos don't even in a city where you think there are no people i've gone to cities where you think god is not doing anything but there are dangerous people in that city that god is lifting so he comes here tonight and leaves loving the body he comes here tonight he receives the graces and the mantles that have been committed to this ministry but he goes back loving the body the next time he enters a church where the man of god is preaching and honestly what the man of god is saying is nothing to write home about he will understand the limitation of that man but not hate the man so the body has risen because a man of god with spiritual intelligence has been able to minister to this listen the ministry of the spirit is very important that's why you must be thoroughly worked upon by the spirit i can be anointed but i will still destroy him are we together how many of us have been destroying the body of christ with our misguided understanding and there are many more who want to rise and so god says calm down before you rise let me walk on you and say god i laid hands on somebody that day and the person fell down i'm ready to go and then god says tarry ye i'm still walking on you the body of christ every one of them holding possibilities like you have a doctor doctors write certain things and recommend other people to a hospital in india they say there is the world-renowned eye surgeon is in india although i'm a consultant i refer you to that guy because this situation i want you to go and whatever he tells you to do we can execute it here that's the medical field that's why they're helping people but in the church i can claim i'm an anointed man now 
and then I look at this guy and I say in the name of Jesus I cast out that spirit and then I say it's done you too you know nothing happened here are we together the man said if I be a man of God go and launch into new dimensions this guy goes back and starts smoking as soon as he gets to bed with because the spirit was there unmoved by the arrogance of the man of God that's how we destroy many people someone comes and tells you I have I am SS and he said in the name of Jesus it is done go the person comes back and says, nothing happened and he said well you see faithless people like you I don't know why there are too many testimonies in my life no no that's a foolish man of God a man of God who really loves God will say look I will keep praying for you but I want your heart to be open there are still possibilities in the body so when God says all things are possible they are not possible just because you are a Christian they are possible because he has distributed these dimensions to the body it's God speaking to you please hear me brothers and sisters you may be born again and still die in poverty if you ignore what God represents the systems he has built you are not going to create look this guy will not pray himself into becoming excellent no his prayer life will not suddenly manufacture into this his prayer life will give him the revelation that will make him come and meet this person are we together this guy is excellent but he's not going to heal the sick with balloons and stickers he's going to heal the sick when his spirit is alive and strong and that will happen when he acknowledges the ministry of this listen meeting the people is not necessarily how to receive just being open to the body alone let me tell you something there are ministries that i have received from even more than the members of that ministry i have never seen their pastors i have never gone to those ministries but just because my heart is open I have received wisdom from people like Dr. Mike Murdoch. I've never been to the Wisdom Center. I've never sat down one on one under his ministration. But my heart has been open to what he represents to the ministry. He's an apostle of wisdom. Whether you say seed, seed, seed is collecting money. I take what I believe is consumable for me. And whatever part I think is an excess, I lovingly just drive it. But I don't throw the baby under the bad water. I know how to receive from ministries. I tell you. This is a message for us and God is helping us. We are going to really pray tonight. Discerning the body. Give us that scripture again. For this cause. Not for this causes. For this cause. You have written jam ten times. Who told you there is no way out? But sir, I always read. That's what you think is responsible for success alone. But there is a provision in the body. Do you believe this i remember the doctor when he was giving his testimony when he came and met me he said he's going to go and write exams i said go and be a doctor listen korede komaya many of you may know him he pastors a church in worry the wife of um bishop um what's his name in living faith not abioye um bishop aremu they have twins and so he came to greet the woman and bishop aremu's wife looked at korede komaya's wife and he looked at her and took what the veil she was putting threw it on her and said what are you doing go and get twins joe immediately she was pregnant with twins she's giving birth to twins now now you have been crying for twins but there is a woman with the mantle she's even playing with it go and get twins joe in the body but there are some people saying lord one child whether the child is well or not just give me something that comes out of me whereas the but please i want you to take what i'm saying very seriously i am a product of many anointings i keep rising because i love the body not just because i'm anointed i was not born with every possibility in my life i honored my way through them and the key is to love the body the body may be imperfect i know there are false prophets 
but the, the prophetic mantle is still in nigeria i know there are false apostles but the prophetic mantle is still i know there are money mongers but there are still people with the prosperity mantle don't just because you have one or two case studies throw everything in the body of christ and you destroy yourself is god speaking to us you have to change your perception way make a miracle work a promise light in the darkness that is who you are sing it to him way make a miracle work a promise keeper light in the darkness gentlemen look at me let me speak to you you can choose the way people are trying to be established and be established at 45 and build your first house at 55 and die at 60 of high blood pressure or you can find out lord is there a system you have created that can help men run elijah told ahab saddle your ass always knew that if you must run you run on donkeys so he had the best donkey but there was another system foreign to ahab but the prophet knew it the bible says the hand of god came upon him let me tell you something all the methods you know is not all there is there are faster and more effective routes to anything i have seen men brothers and sisters within two years of their work with god they have carried graces and unctions that will make other people angry and say i sought god for 10 years before the healing anointing came i don't know how you sought him but this brother sought him in a system that made two years become like 20 years this is the key to advancement if god says this is our year of multiplied grace then there is a technology he wants to give you to run let me tell you we have been working but it's time to run it's time to run the key is discerning the body the key is discerning the body the lord instructed me to empty my account and sow it into a particular ministry when i did that i was shocked it was like charm one month of non-stop favor permit me to use the word wicked favor i've seen favor in my life the same way i have seen pastors who just came and sat down some of you are like that they came from other ministries they never go to see me but they went back and all of a sudden their next meeting things just changed one man of god went to i think it was bishop oedeko or so and so the seed i shared with you the story oedeko said now that you have come is recognized that you have a church in your area you know that looks arrogant isn't it but the man knows what he's saying the man went back and in one service they had 500 newcomers 500 500 listen the men of god and the spiritual structures that carry these systems may have their arrogance they may have their imperfections but create a system to look beyond it you know what you are finding if you find god you will find him if you are finding a loud you will find him but for you to think all you have seen is all there is in god you are joking please hear me this thing called favor does not just fall on people because you read it in scripture there are men carrying this thing bodily it's like a mantle on their head anywhere they go anywhere they go we were at the airport i was just sitting down we we're waiting for a boarding call and while we we're sitting a gentleman just came a man of god he said sorry are you apostle joshua selman i said ah somebody has come to embarrass me again and then the person you know we just spoke and he just said excuse me he just went and put money in an envelope and brought it and dropped it just like that is he working in your life some of you know why because you think it must come through your personal secret place look god has created do you know the spiritual discipline it takes for a man to carry some of these things people have labored for you 
so that by the grace of God and through the power of a corporate life you can enter into certain possibilities trying to dig the well afresh your lifetime is not enough to enter every dimension by yourself if it takes 10 years to catch a particular spiritual possibility how long do you have to live to get all of them so God has created men your honor and your love for the body opens you up automatically to that dimension those of us who have the art of criticizing the body you own your television and everybody you keep scrolling channel after channel insulting everybody you go to church and your pastor you look at him saying all these anglican people say they're about to just keep quiet look for christ and you will find him look for excellence you will find it look for anointing look for prayer look for these graces and you will find them that's what i've chosen to do i'm i'm like that's why i told you i'm like a spiritual archaeologist i go around the body of christ with my bag of treasures when i find it he said they are life to those who find them that's how we found the grace for long life that we transported like gold from equity state to koinonia we landed it here i know how it came it came from a city and a territory that have a covenant of long life 141 years still alive i said no way we must receive this our seed went for it but those yoruba people prayed for us with their with the mama prayed on barefoot when it landed on my life i knew we're coming back from yola there was so much trouble turbulence in the air they had to turn back the plane turned back from yola back to abuja because the turbulence was too much now when they carried us i mean it was as if we we're going to drop god is my witness i was sleeping Kai, the mysteries that surround my life are many what you see is not all that there is you try it and see it's like obama you know how obama is walking you want to shoot him and you just die somebody shoots you from where you do not know because they are watching the keeper of israel he never sleeps nor slumbers he's watching over me that's my testimony the keeper of israel he never sleeps nor slumbers yeah he's watching over me there are men that have a covenant of deliverance with god they will enter trouble as if there is no tomorrow quarter to shame god will show up when you have even concluded david was such a person some three many a day he said how many a day that trouble me many a day that rise up against me many a day that say where is his god he said but thou O lord art a shield for me listen it's not every man that said that they didn't have it david had it it's called the covenant of peace in the hebrew it's called the covenant of shalom peace the covenant that makes god show up when a man has trouble there is such a covenant there is such a mantle you need it in this nigeria you don't need to look for trouble you just need to be a nigerian trouble will come and find you but sometimes you cannot defend yourself but when that mystery is at work you will see god turn things it's like ojoro they said no 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 but i know this person is supposed three courses i understand waving one but three courses why you there is something they do not understand more than the senate of apu i want you to believe this men walk upon mysteries that's why two people can go through the same thing another person will die but another person said i don't know what happened i was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see my troubles held me down the pressure laid me down god kept me so i wouldn't let go his mercy kept me so i listen there are lots of ladies who are saying no man has come to ask me out i know i'm not pretty it's a lie it's a lie there are married women with 10 children and somebody is still saying sorry can we have dinner it's a grace well you can argue it because you went to school i'm telling you it's a grace you see 
this education is good but you have to be careful the realm of the spirit is far superior to the intellectual realm there's a gentleman in this ministry i've never seen somebody with that grace there is nothing he does not do that doesn't prosper he has done all kinds of things if that guy sells pampas i don't mean it in a shop from his house there are no children here but you will buy it something will make you just say let me buy it and give somebody as a gift that's the kind of grace he has i know people who have their shop they sit down alone and eat everything in the shop because you have business intelligence but you have not opened up yourself to that dimension please as we begin to pray let your prayer lift you in the spirit where you scan for where you have ignored and let's cry out and say lord there is no prosperity in my life i've been trying to fake it but this thing is not there let it come do you know if it comes before miracle service you can have a testimony that dwarfs everything it's because you think everything you work you work for is what you must get there are people who have worked for things the grace can direct them to you for this cause for this cause there are women who desire men they have six ladies and they are about their home is about to scatter because they are looking for a man and the man is saying this is your last chance if you ever give me a girl you are following that girl to go out of the house of course that's a stupid reason but do you know there is a woman with 12 boys why don't you exchange it who taught you that these things are not transferable you can transfer a charge card mtn share but you can't transfer spiritual virtue who lied to you you break your 2000 naira recharge card and give somebody 500 and he receives it and you don't believe you can transfer spiritual virtues who lied to you that i cannot impart upon you grace for prayer the, my agreement with god can come on you listen listen I, I don't know how we think sometimes honestly i can tell you i want to browse I have 5,000 naira in my phone. True or false? And I can say, okay, send 1,000. You just need to press a code. And your, your amount will be deducted. Abi? And then it will come to somebody. And he's just sitting down and his phone rings. Credited with 1,000 naira. Did he work for it? You could share it because you are willing to share. And he was willing to accept. Who told you you cannot do that spiritually? You can transfer health. Not healing. Health. You can transfer it believe me if you can transfer sickness why can't you transfer health please answer me biology teaches us airborne disease what's the other one waterborne disease and whatever you want to call you can transfer you can transfer wealth these things are first spiritual you can receive it If you don't believe what i'm saying get ready to struggle in this life because it's not by power it's not by might we have ignored god's system of making things easy for us god is not a wicked god if you do not walk with the body and this is all you have you will make god look like a wicked god because you'll be like oh god help me let me tell you the answer is not in heaven someone on earth is walking in your prayer point and if only your heart will be open prayer was not just designed for petitions alone it was designed as a spiritual system to help you grow but most of our prayer life has been channeled towards pleading because we have ignored the body are we together there are people in life they may not be so spiritual but there is there is no time they cry for help the help does not arise there are people like that because their grandmother blessed them and said may you always find help she transferred something from her and it landed on that little baby who could not say amen the baby grew not knowing there was such a possibility but the baby noticed that every time i go somewhere help us arise brothers and sisters is a grace there are people who their grandfathers were herbalists but they laid hands on them 
and say may your eyes see they grew up as children from age four five they started seeing they are not born again because originally from god they were called to walk in a prophetic dimension but it was corrupted although the transference came through divination when they get born again god does not cancel it it only corrects it there is a switch of kingdoms upon which that possibility operates that's why when an occultist gets born again he doesn't stop seeing vision it only comes back under the authority of christ i'm speaking to you by the spirit there are dimensions of the spirit that are possible see this house koinonia is a great house this house koinonia is a great house there are all kinds of possibilities for your taking now you can sit down and argue it is this thing real is this possible or you can say lord i'm tired it's not this hard um it's, it's not this hard You are here Turning lights around I worship you Shabalabalabala I worship you You are here Mending broken hearts I worship you I worship you now for the next 10 minutes we are going to pray listen your prayer you are not asking God for anything you are just going to pray in the spirit I want you to prepare your spirit for a distribution of mantles a distribution of mantles a distribution of possibilities 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 Possibilities. Shaka parada balada balada. Shaka cha 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 parada balada balada balada. If it is in the body, it can be in my life. Deliverance is in the body. Breakthrough is in the body. Prophetic is in the body.
mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. Keep praying. Mighty on your throne. Baba 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 Results are possible in the kingdom. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. Listen, let me teach you something. There are pastors here. You have never seen the hand of God show up in your meetings. It's an insult on yourself. It's not, it's not about prayer and fasting. There are cheap possibilities you can step into. There are churches, there are prayer groups for years. You are four, five, you become 20, you come back to three. Why punish yourself? It's not so hard. Why don't you open up your spirit to receive? There are people, there's no man in your life to help you. You work for everything. It's a cost. Don't think you are making progress just because you have a job. It's a cost to not have helpers show up for you. There is a place called Zion and God can send help to men. We are a ministry that has been greatly helped by God. Do you believe that? We are going to pray. The next two to three minutes I want you to pray. Listen. Anointing is not just a spiritual thing that lands on your head. No. An anointing is simply an impartation that opens a dimension of spiritual possibility. Please hear what I'm saying. An anointing does not do everything. Your request directs its operation. Are we together now? You don't just say, God anoint me. It's not a wise prayer. Father, everything is working in my life but this prosperity thing lord i don't see helpers arise for me i beg and i struggle for everything i get in trouble and pay for it by myself that there is an anointing for exemption lord i see that there is no influence in my life you know the area you need grace for i like you to pray like your heart will come out of your body Cry for the dimension you must see in your life. Thank you. 
hallelujah i'm going to give us three prayer points i want you to pray it with fire because as you pray it god will answer it number one father the anointing for speed the anointing for speed that i will run everybody will see that this is speed release it upon me in the name of jesus pray 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 speed speed i'm tired of the press of my life tell you brothers and sisters what you are receiving in this prayer will speak i assure you it will it will please don't think god is playing games with you we are not serving an idol i show you a mystery that has made and is making my life i know what i'm saying prayer point number two lord multiply my results multiply my results lift your voice and pray multiply my results multiply my results financial results ministerial results multiply my results multiply my results oh god of heaven oh god of heaven oh god of heaven multiply my results Multiply my result, multiply my influence, multiply my impact, multiply koinonia, multiply koinonia. Pray, multiply my business, multiply my Listen, listen, look at me, when, listen, have you seen a man who wears this attire of masquerade, some of us where we come from, you know men who are also masquerade, there is a language they use, when you see men who are masquerade, they say they cook them, Abi. They say they cook the man. That's why he can speak. That's what is happening to you now. That that thing that they say they cook a man. That you come out and it will be like charm is on you. That's what is happening. The last prayer point. Or at least the next one. Listen. People hear me hear me I don't know how to beg you to pray this prayer point but you've you've heard me say it I like you to call your helpers listen koinonia listen 
until your helper shows up you can remain in one position for decades listen a helper is not a volunteer a helper is a man anointed to rescue you listen you may die and not be able to move to certain dimensions until a helper arises listen listen there are many families with no helpers there are many lives with no helpers there are people who need jobs no helpers intelligence no helpers it's a prayer i pray every day listen there is no helper that comes on his own accord they are called i have seen financial helpers in my life i have seen all kinds of helpers any good information that can help koinonia they call me man of god there is so and so have you considered it listen you need them to move forward say in the name of jesus shout it koinonia in the name of jesus tonight by the anointing of the holy ghost i speak to the spirit of my helpers share the word of the lord show up in my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray everyone please listen we are still praying that prayer point hear me I know what helpers can do where a man shows up from nowhere and says I came to help you there is such a thing listen listen many ladies are married because a helper showed up many people have gotten jobs there are people i have been a destiny helper to many people i remember someone who was trusting god for promotion and in a meeting i met somebody who was like um a representative of that company and i called the person i said i know this person please if there is any assistance they can render honestly out of respect for me that guy was promoted to a position that even surprised me help us somebody needs to talk to somebody about you you can't talk to them say in the name of jesus whoever needs to talk about me for my help to come i release you to speak on my behalf go ahead and pray go ahead and pray oh i release you every power holding you from every Listen, listen. We are still praying over helpers. There are many of us. The trouble you are in now, you can't bring yourself out. It's not just by prayer and fasting. You need a human vessel to show up. We are going to pray. 
Say in the name of Jesus. Every mountain standing before me. Every closed door standing before me. Whoever holds the key by prophecy, I call the person. Open that door for me. Lift your voice and pray. Open that door. Every closed door. says verily verily I say unto you if you have faith as small as a monster seed he said thou shalt say to this mountain listen every challenge in your life has a spirit component to it we are soon rounding up but make sure you pray this prayer pray it with everything you have say in the name of Jesus every disappointment Every shame, every challenge in my life sponsored by hell, I declare that the powers behind those problems, you come on that judgment now. Lift your voice and pray. Every power behind the disappointment in my life. more prayer point listen there are many of us God wants to bless you but your heart has been closed so you do not receive other blessings from the body this prayer is going to open you up to the possibilities in the body so in the name of Jesus I repent from criticizing the body so in the name of Jesus my heart is open to every blessing every dimension every possibility in the body therefore i call every anointing every grace every mantle every unction required for my next level come upon my life begin to pray begin to pray every mantle the prophetic the apostolic business grows deliverance grows healing grows wealth mantle
you are under the anointing, please lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. Don't worry, instrumentalist, you can play. Exceedingly. All you could ask for To the power Believe what this song is saying <laughs> My God is able to do Just what he said Please lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil listen it said thou anointest my head with oil he does not anoint your cup he anoints your head then something happens to your cup there are three prophetic acts you are going to do tonight just be foolish to do what i'm asking you to do father i stand upon this office in the name that is above all and i pray that everyone laying his hand on his head let there be transparency as a fresh dimension of power and wisdom and favor in the name of jesus i make contact as i lay my hands upon my head by prophecy let there be transparency now your hands towards me my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil Isaiah 48 media help us very fast if we can please Isaiah 48 verse 17 stretch your hands towards me please please I don't want you to come for koinonia and waste your time Isaiah 48 verse 17 please quickly help us media it's not possible should be sensitive please all the time Let me read it, please. Isaiah 48. Verse 17. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the 
most holy one of Israel. Stretch your hands towards me. I am the Lord thy God who teacheth thy hands to profit. Listen, the hand of a man represents his labor. It's the mystery that brings abundance. I want to pray for you. Many of you will enter dimensions of breakthrough by this prophetic act. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands back to you. Step into a common result. Take it now. Take it now. Uncommon results. Uncommon results. Uncommon results. Uncommon results. Uncommon results. Uncommon results. The works of your hands. Supernatural results. I put an anointing upon it. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Please, if you can stand on your feet. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. For your glory, be lifted high. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. For your glory. The source of my strength now you the strength of my life now you my hope and my joy my confidence Listen, the Bible says they know not, neither will they understand. Please listen. He told Abraham, he said, look eastward, southward, northwards. He says, everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon. Listen, there is a mystery of dominion. That men can hold firm grasp of territories and dimensions. I've taught you there are five elements upon which the supernatural finds expression. Number one is light, <laughs> number two, fire, number three wind number four the earth are we together one of the mysteries that we're using listen the earth is a universal point of contact no matter how high a building is it must make contact with the earth I want to pray for you it's a very deep mystery very deep mystery it's time for you to come into supernatural dimensions of influence this is an impartation for influence <laughs> listen listen when it was time listen when it was time for Jacob to bless his sons, he said, put your hand under my thigh. I'm about to speak to you and impart grace for influence. There is a grace. There is a grace. I pray for you. You are stepping upon the ground. I'm not speaking to you now. I speak to the earth. 
you have ears and you have doors oh, hear the word of the lord i speak to you according to the measure of grace that has been given to me i pray in the name of jesus that every time your people are in trouble for as long as the earth their feet is upon the earth let the earth fight for them hear me job said job said in times of war you will be exempted because you have made a covenant with the stones i pray for you for as long as your feet is on the ground may no man be able to defeat you 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 i pray for you as you are stepping your feet on this ground go where you could not go enter where you could not enter the ocean and the grace for new territories i release upon you now i release upon you now new territories in the spirit new territories in finances new territories of influence new territories in the name of jesus new territories new frontiers i break that ground for you i break that ground for you step into it in the name of jesus hallelujah listen the last prophetic act still with your feet listen <laughs> ah, yeah. the bible says jericho was a fortified city no man could break into it the men the israelites were not strong in themselves and the lord said you are going to use your feet as a prophetic act to bring that city down it says walk around it didn't say sing it didn't say clap use your leg and match the earth make contact with the earth from which you came seven times hold on i'm not telling you to do it and the moment they did it the bible says on the seventh day go around seven times and then he said after that seven times shout and when they shouted the world did not fall it sank i pray for you the same way every physical mountain is connected to the earth there is no mountain hanging in the space it makes contact with the earth i pray for you in the name of the lord god of heaven as your feet is stepping upon this ground any human agent any spiritual agent responsible for the predicament in your life if i be called of god this night this night i declare may the angels of judgment strike those men strike those women strike those altars strike those men if they will not let you go strike those men in the name of jesus by the mystery of the earth i smite them i smite them in their sleep i smite them while they are awake may the earth fight them Every high thing must come down. Every song will shall be broken. You will have a big I want to pray that prayer again. We are rounding up. I say it again. Whoever is responsible for the tears of any man standing here, as surely as there is a God, please hear me. I'm speaking prophetically. In the name that is above all names, that force that will refuse to let you rise by the Lord God of heaven, that name called the man of war, Sabaoth, the avenger of men, right now, 
I command those altars wherever they are as you are standing on the ground may they catch fire now right now may they catch fire now may they catch fire now may they catch fire now I release your breakthrough I release your healing I release your miracle Hallelujah. In one minute, I like to prophesy and say I'm rising to another dimension. No force. Go ahead and pray. No force. No power. No spirit. Are you praying? No force. No power. No spirit. No force. No power. No spirit. Hallelujah. Every family under shame and disgrace here. Yeah. I declare in the name of Jesus that that plague of shame and disgrace comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Whatever has made a mockery of your family before men, they look at you and it's like a subject of apology. By the mystery of the body, I pray right now, let things change. Let things change. By the supply of the spirit, let things change. Everybody here who has written an exam, who ordinarily you are supposed to fail, it would have been a carryover now. I pray for you. I change it from the realm of the spirit. I change it from the realm of the spirit. By the mercy of the God of David, by the goodness of the God we serve, I change it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every academic breakthrough you desire that ordinarily would not have happened to you, I pray by the grace that is upon this house, step into that desire. Step into that desire. Step into that desire. In the name of Jesus. We're rounding up. Hear me. You're here. And you've not committed your heart to the Lord please keep standing no moving around Jesus is not a herbalist the blessings of the kingdom are for those who genuinely come to Jesus Christ there are men and women here inside outside and thousands following us who by this meeting tonight you have seen a need to come and surrender everything I don't care how many times you have come out for an altar call there is a need in your life to come to Jesus and there are others who you have given your heart to the Lord but you still see a need to rededicate your life there are things that are not going right in your life and you are saying Lord I don't want to miss out on this please we have just two minutes for this wherever you are don't be ashamed don't be afraid first overflow second outside those following online wherever you are you are giving your heart to jesus you are saying man of god if you will lead me to christ i will be glad to accept him and you are saying i will dedicate my life to be serious with god make your way to the front jesus is calling you you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome don't be ashamed you're welcome make your way to the front quickly boldly and gallantly make your way to jesus keep coming god is speaking to you don't argue with the spirit of God. Leave your seat and make your way to the front. God bless you. Keep coming. Man of God, I want a new beginning. A new life. I'm tired of the things happening in my life. Can God give me a new beginning? Yes, He can. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. God bless you. Man of God, you don't know what I've done. I don't care. Make your way to the front. Jesus can give you a new beginning. Jesus can give you a new beginning. Don't let others stop you from coming. 
and don't keep clapping for others if you are supposed to be here while you are clapping stand up and join them some of you as you are clapping your the holy ghost is saying what are you still doing on your seat leave your seat and join them don't just clap come he's calling you if you hear his voice don't pretend that it's not his voice the devil will not ask you to come for an altar call the devil will not ask you to come for an altar call god is still speaking to me there are there are more people please we are waiting for you inside and outside the third overflow there are still people god is speaking to make your way to the front make your way to the front don't play games with your destiny there are many depending on this prayer you are praying young and old rich or poor make your way to the front hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much for coming you didn't come out to recite a poem you didn't come to sing a song some of you are crying let me tell you it's the beginning of a new day in your life since you were not ashamed of god and you could come and stand and say yes i want a new beginning there are others still seated who would have come but they are afraid and ashamed just make sure that as you're standing you mean business with god you mean business with god i want you to lift your right hand to heaven don't lift it as if you're afraid high to heaven and say after me from the depth of your heart say lord jesus say it again lord jesus i truly love you and i believe that you are the son of god you died for me to give me a new beginning i declare that from today i hand over my life completely to you take absolute charge and control of my life from today i declare that satan has no power over my life i'm a child of god i'm a citizen of heaven eternal life is mine in jesus name keep your hands lifted let me pray for you father i pray for these gentlemen and ladies from today no going back you're going ever forward in the name of jesus the grace to live a victorious life is released upon you from today i declare that the blessings upon the body comes upon you the grace upon the body comes upon you the possibilities upon the body comes upon you in the name of jesus christ i pray in the name of jesus christ no 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 leave him gentlemen go and join them you don't come and stand in front join them and pray you had the prayer point i know that god has touched you you refuse to come out the holy ghost brought you say after me i'm praying for you say lord jesus i love you with all my heart lift your right hand say in the name of jesus i declare that i'm a child of god I'm born again in jesus name i bless every one of you by the power of the holy spirit you will rise from glory to glory the power of the flesh the power of this system is broken over your life in jesus name i pray now very quickly hold on in the name of jesus christ i want all of you to follow the gentleman waving his hands very quickly and as you follow him he's going to have your details and we'll get in touch with you god bless you and i love you from the depth of my heart hello beloved in christ we hope this message are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin.